Welcome to Kesa Data Vision YouTube channel. The first video will try to understand about Power BI workspace. We are going to create a, a separate playlist for Power BI service. So in order to understand Power BI service, which is the most difficult part in learning Power BI, because you will not get a real time experience unless and until you start working with your projects. So here we are going to discuss topic by topic on Power BI service. Now what exactly is a workspace? How to create a workspace? We'll see in this video as part of the agenda of this video. We'll talk about what is Power BI workspace. There are two type of workspaces. So one is my workspace and one is app workspace. We'll talk about both and also we'll try to create one workspace for our project. So Power BI workspace is a space where you can try to collaborate with your colleagues if you're working in a team and all the team members are working on a report dashboard. You can try to share with your team. So for that reason we have to have workspace so you can create dashboards reports and you can maintain as a one point of place where you can store it and in terms of workspace you have two types of workspace so one is called my workspace and one is called the normal workspace now let me talk about the difference between this my workspace and the workspace before even I talk technically in terms of Power BI. Let me see this example. Now we all maintain notebooks, separate notebooks for different subjects. So what do you understand by this example? So one is like a rough notebook where you write all the sub subjects in one book. You use it as your scratch book. You do whatever you want. The reason behind this is no one is going to see this notebook because it belongs to your it belongs to you as well as it's like something you are using as a rough note let's see the right side of the screen it's called a record book everything is neat and clean the reason behind is this it will be shared across your friends it will be shared to your lecturers so this will be circulated across your class now what is the difference between your rough note and a record one which is well organized and it is neatly maintained as a record book and one which you're using as a rough paper has been used as a rough note try to relate same thing to your power bi now what is the difference between my workspace and workspace now when you talk about the my workspace my workspace is like your personal sandbox i would say the personal space Usually this workspace is used for your R&D purpose, your research or you're doing on a practice basis. You will be creating your my workspace. You will be creating this. In fact, you will be publishing your reports here and only you will be allowed to see here. No one else can see your workspace just like no one else can see your rough notebook. And also this is not useful for sharing your report. This is only for your purpose only your purpose where you can practice for your R&D purpose. Now let's talk about the actual workspace. So this is created for projects or apps for your clients. So everyone within the organization can go and see this workspace. Okay, whatever the reports, whatever the dashboards you have published everything you can maintain it at one place. And whoever has been given access, they can go and see this workspace. So this is what you will be doing in the real time because when you're working for clients, you need to have a separate workspace where you can try to collaborate with your team. It could be your reports dashboards. So now let's try to create one workspace. Now let me try to create one workspace. Now let's say this is your power bi service it starts with the url app.powerbi.com so this is where you start sharing your reports to your end users or clients or even when collaborating with your team now let's talk about my workspace so this is where you can start creating your reports dashboards everything but remember this is only for your purpose whatever you're creating only you will be responsible for this only you can use it now let's go with workspace 
let's go with workspace there is an option of creating the workspace create a workspace let's give some name let's give a name and let me go and save this now this is a workspace which is called flipkart project ksr you can give it any name but make sure it is not repeated the name should be unique and here you can go and create your report dashboard now this can be shared with different team members okay and in the next video we'll talk about the access now you can start providing the access to users and we will see the access part in the next video in this video we have seen the difference between workspace and my workspace thank you all for watching please subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed let's meet in the next video